Welcome to my dear video by the Adjust PRC. Today I want to show you how to remove your front bumper of a slash 4x4 without taking the complete vehicle in pieces. Uh, one of the first steps I would do is, again, depending what is broken on your bumper, uh, sometimes you'll have this piece here broken. Uh, unfortunately, you need to buy the front bumper and this guy at the same time. Uh, a lot of times what I'm going to do is, let's say I did break this piece here. I'll change this, just keep this as the stock one. And if I ever break this, I'll have it kind of a spare. Now, if you need to change this guy here, you have two, point, uh, two mils here and two mils in the front bumper here. There are two access holes. Uh, and then basically you're just going to grab the bumper and bend it a bit to be able to pop this out and then pop the other one in and you're golden but let's say you're going to change the complete bumper i would remove these two screws here that they are two mil again you can use a drill for this just be careful especially putting the uh, physical screw back in. Now, once these two are removed, flip the vehicle over and you have three more here to do. And these guys here, if I remember correctly, they're 2.5. Now, sometimes these screws will get caked on with dirt in the middle. You might have a hard time putting your screwdriver in it. I just grab something that's pointy and basically go inside. And even sometimes I'll grab my 1.5 and I just go in the screw and try to clean it up. And I don't know if you can see it right here. I just remove some dirt in it. And I'll just go. There you go. Now, it's not the best thing to do to your tools. Because it, it is a little bit harder on the tools. And remove this one. Remove that one. And you'll see your bumper will come off. Now, while you have this in your hands, you could install this guy here. And like I was saying, there's two screws right here. Once you remove those screws, this will come off. Pop it back in on your new one, screw it in, and then grab it. And you'll notice in the front of the vehicle, now I'm not sure I'll be able to show you I don't think she's going to want to focus. Try to zoom out a bit. Nope. There is a kind of a, there is a key here. There's a slot that this part here inserts itself into. When you are putting it in, just be careful. That way it gets inserted correctly. And again, once that's done, all the rest should align itself. You grab your screw, your screwdriver. I do the middle one, that way everything aligns itself a lot better. Tighten it back up. Now on these three screws, doesn't matter if you mix them, they're all the same length. You cannot create any damage. Now, if you did forget to insert the key here, it, it's not major because you're able to grab your bumper here and physically insert it back. That's not major. Like I was saying in the beginning, if you need to change this, uh, I would remove these two screws, pop this out, just leave it hanging on top, remove these two screws, and you're able to pop this out. Let's insert it back there. Grab our two mil. And 
make sure they're inserted correctly. Again, when you feel it's tight enough, stop right there. Not to strip the screw. Uh, well, I finished this here. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up in the corner or around here somewhere. It does help and I do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great one.